In this video, I'm going to be explaining how to set the exhaust valve on KTM and Husqvarna TPI two strokes. I'm going to start by explaining what the exhaust valve is and what it does. So here you can see a uh, exhaust valve, or commonly known as a power valve, from a carburetor bike uh, 300, and uh, it's a flap-shaped device uh, which sits in the cylinder and can be rotated to control the height of the exhaust port. To better explain that, here I have a 300 cylinder and the exhaust valve is located behind this cover. So if I take the cover off, uh, you can see the exhaust port here and the exhaust valve uh, fits into the cylinder like this. So right now uh, the exhaust valve is closed and uh, so it would be closed at low RPM and it results in a uh, smaller exhaust port uh, with a low exhaust port height. Uh, this results in uh, good torque and power at low RPM. And then as the RPM go up at a set RPM, uh, the exhaust valve will start to open. Um, and there you can see it fully open. And by having a variable height exhaust port, it results in a broader uh, power and uh, torque characteristics of the engine. Uh, than you would get by just having a fixed exhaust port height. Okay, so next we're going to talk about what controls at uh, what RPM the exhaust valve uh, opens. So the part you can see here is on the right hand side of the engine and it's an adjuster which controls the amount of preload applied to a spring behind it. And you can wind it in or out. If you wind it in, it applies more preload and uh, the exhaust valve will open later at a higher RPM. If you wind it out, it applies less preload, so the exhaust valve will open at a lower RPM. And to make adjustments, you can use a tool like this, which fits into the uh, square adjuster. And uh, this particular one's made by Enduro Engineering. I know that others are available also. And before making any adjustments, I do recommend that you make a note of the stock setting. Uh, so you can probably see here there's some uh, yellow paint being used to mark uh, the stock setting. Um, I'll be showing a measurement later uh, which will uh, act as a good reference if you need it later. So here you can see the preload adjuster removed with the springs. So the adjuster affects the preload on the large spring um, which will determine at what RPM the exhaust valve starts to open. Uh, if you look carefully, there's also a smaller secondary spring inside, and I'll disassemble this to uh, show you what that looks like. So here you can see the springs more clearly. Uh, the secondary small spring uh, controls how quickly the exhaust valve opens. So in car bikes, you actually got a set of three of these. Uh, so green color, yellow, which uh, this one's yellow, and a red one. And the green one was the stiffest, and uh, would result in the exhaust valve uh, op opening slowly, uh, which would uh, result in a, a very uh, smooth, uh, slightly lower power uh, characteristics. Uh, the yellow was the medium one, and the red uh, would have the exhaust valve open quickly and result in a more, much more snappy feeling and more powerful feeling. For TPI bikes, KTM do not recommend that uh, you change the secondary spring um, they recommend you only use uh, the one provided, which is the reason why they don't uh, provide the set of secondary springs. And regarding adjustment, for TPI bikes uh, year model 18 and 19, uh, in the owner's manual, um, it states that uh, the exhaust valve should start opening at 5,500 RPM. And interestingly, from uh, year model 2020, including 21, uh, the TPI owner's manual information changed. So there's no longer a uh, RPM where the uh, exhaust valve should start opening. Um, instead, it gives a uh, physical measurement um, to measure the adjuster. So for 250 models, it's now stated that uh, should be 2.7 millimeters uh, and the tolerance is plus 0 0.02 millimeters minus zero. And for 300, it's a little less. So it's stated to be 2.3 millimeters plus 0.2 minus zero. So what does that spec mean? Uh, so this is the adjuster from my 2021 300 and uh, it means that uh, the distance from uh, the adjuster uh, to the external outer body surface uh, 
uh, should measure between 2.3 and maximum of 2.5 millimeters. So I'm going to go ahead and measure that now. Okay, so I'm using some uh, digital calipers and I'm reading uh, 2.25 millimeters, uh, so very close to the uh, minimum of uh, 2.3 millimeters. Okay, so I've reinstalled the adjuster and springs, and next I'm going to measure the actual RPM that uh, the exhaust valve starts to open. The TPI bikes have a CAN bus interface. For the 2020-21 models, uh, the interface is located underneath the ECU, and it's easy to spot. It's a six-pin connector, and uh, it has this cover on. Uh, you just push the lever, and it comes off. And then uh, using an OBD2 interface, um, and you need an adapter cable, um, you plug it in uh, to your wireless OBD2 interface. And then using an app on your smartphone, uh, you can monitor uh, the RPM and various other information as well. I have a separate uh, video about this. I'll provide a link uh, to the video in the description of this one in case you want to purchase the hardware and uh, install an app. So here you can see the left hand side of the bike and uh, this is the exhaust valve uh, linkage. So I've removed the cover um, and you can see the linkage here with this geared mechanism. Right now it's fully down uh, so the exhaust valve is closed um, and I've warmed the bike up and um, I'm going to be uh, starting the bike and monitoring uh, this. As soon as it starts to lift up that means the exhaust valve starting to open and I'll take a note of the uh, RPM from my smartphone app. Okay, so I've successfully confirmed that the exhaust valve does start to open at 5,500 RPM. So I don't need to make any adjustments. If you do find that uh, yours is opening uh, too late or too early, um, you just use a preload adjuster and uh, do it in small increments and retest. Really easy test to do. Um, I highly recommend getting uh, one of the OBD2 uh, interfaces. Uh, you can check not only the RPM but the engine temp uh, error codes etc. So a really handy tool to have to uh, do some quick checks.